Hello and welcome. How are you doing? Next, I'd like to show you that how to disassemble this electric electric hammer, electric tool, what works so that when I press that on and on button, this uh, this drill bit moves. And now there is situation that because this is very heavy duty hammer, that there is some something of these gears is uh, damaged because sometimes when I start to hammer like rock this machine don't hammer and uh, even that this machine works in that way okay and and now I decided that I I start to assemble this gear box first and there is those those bolts what I need to open and I think that I start my job in here and next I take my tools and then we continue. Okay, and then we need these six, six, six corner tools what I have in here, that kind of set and this tool fits in these bolts what are in here and next I open these bolts all of these four bolts in here I take those away and then important message we need to unplug this electric cable that it is not in that there is no any electricity always when we work that because there is big risk of electric shock and also this is like informative video to you and do not do that in your home because this is like electricity electricity personnel's work but this is like an informative that what to do if my electric hammer is not working and there is this hammer switch in here and and I have now issue in that area and then when I have managed to open these bolts, we continue. Okay, and now I have managed to take all, all of these, uh, these bolts away. And this is in here, this final one, what I am opening now. And now it's, now this is open. There, there is this kind of bolts, and then I think that this part should should move in here away. I am right, but actually it moves a little bit, but not not totally, and that means that if this part, if this part is in, still in there, I need to a little bit rotate that. And of course, if this is difficult to open, then I need to disassemble these things a little bit more in here. And I, I think that I can take these parts and these bolts in here lower area also open and then I think that this job continues job and of course I think that maybe I I could take that switch also away Screwdriver, there's those screws. Okay, now it opens. Maybe this, this switch, it's like locking thing. Okay, now it opens and maybe yes, there's the switch. Now, maybe this part, yes, now it opens. There is this hammer. 
hammer movement in here. Okay. And let's look at what what we can see there. There's all all things are left. Okay. This part looks okay. And how about, how about then there inside? Okay, there is this. There is something. Some part in there. Okay, and what is this? Okay, there is this. Something grease cap. Okay, and here is this. This hammering thing. I think that this part in here hammers. There's there's actually like a pistol. Okay, interesting. There is like a pistol. And there is this switch what controls this hammering. Okay. I, I disassemble more that tool next that we can see inside. Okay, and now I have now I have I have opened this this electric hammers these bolts in that area. They are these long bolts, and also in here I take those away. And next we can take that part. Now this, this this drills this upper area in here. <coughs> Sorry, it, this upper area opens, and and we can see that what is there inside. And I open also these two screws in here. Now this part opens. Okay, and there is now. There is now this feel and everything looks fine and there is there is then this electric motor what is working and there is this coil array. Okay. And there is a lot of grease and every every wheel looks quite okay. No any issues in here. There is this electric generator and coils are here that we can replace. We can change those coils in here. Okay, and then this part. Where was this piston? There is this interesting piston. What is maybe this hammering tool? It, this piston moves in here. And it is really like a car's piston. Okay, is there something is okay, now it okay now I managed to know this part drop away. Okay, and this is normal. Yes, this is this hammering piston and it seems that it has been dropped away in that part. And that's the reason why this my machine is not working because this is like loosen because normally this parts there must be some pin in here. Okay, good. Now I managed to note that what what generates this issue. Yes, there is pin away in this upper array. Oh interesting. Okay, and that means that I can I can maybe fix the thing. There is this crease. Next, I need to open these small bolts in there, and then we can look that more. Because I can install that that hammering back in this area in here, and then I can insert pin in here. Okay, good. And then we continue when I have opened these bolts in here. Okay, and then. Then I need even smaller six corner tool. That was the this was previous. This smaller 
and this fits in these bolts in here, in that area, and also in here, and these are like this. Can I open these? And when I have opened these bolts, because in there, there we can see this metallic pin, what is moving. And now this part is is uh, missing. Maybe it is in inside in this crease area. I believe that it is in there, or it is broken. Very interesting. And then I open. Then I open these bolts. Now this is free. And also that one is free. And then I a little bit. I need to only okay and how this part moves in here this piston and then how I can I need to take that wheel away. There is this metallic there is this metallic pin in there inside about that job. I need now the small tongs, where is the small head, and I insert these things in this pin. Okay, and soon, soon I can, okay, now it is in there, and then I, then I open that pin. Okay, there is this pin. Right. There's the spin. Good. And next that part should move. There's small. There's small something. This locking plate in there. And I think that I need little bit hammering that if I that this opens it is still there can I use that my hammer in that way because this is quite tight and I should take that I should take this wheel away. Okay, okay, and where is... Okay. Okay, anyway, this... Metallic... Pin is away. And I little bit... I, I try to... Take that away and we continue. Okay, and now there is situation that this my electric hammers, this hammering piston, what is in here, it was it was loosened and, and actually this uh, this uh, hammer hammers this piston's axle and this joint this was loosened and away from that, that crankshaft, what is in there, what moves in there. And there was situation that small metallic pin, something like that, it was flied, flied away in that position in here. And that's, this my piston was, was like, was like, like damaged and unable to work. And now when I install this piston back in this position in here, it comes in here and then I insert that then I insert the piston in this, this position. Okay, there is this my tool. 
there is the spot and now I and now it went in there. There was no, there is no situation that there is no this pin what keeps that piston in position. This piston can move, but sometimes this this part like like moves in that that way away. In there. Okay. Okay, and when it takes contact in there, it is like it's not good that this piston like drops away in this position. Because there is this there happens situation that sometimes sometimes this piston connection rod in here it, it was so loosened that that this hammering ends. Okay, and and then then I need to take that wheel away. But now I need some kind of pulley that I can remove that wheel. And now, just now, I don't have so small tool that I can take this fasten wheel and that axle soft joint away. And I need to purchase this special tool. But basically, this was this idea that how electric hammer works. And of course, we can see this issue. That issue is that now this piston is so loosened that that I can take it away. And, and this hammering works so that when we insert in here this drill bite, and then there is this this another part in there, it goes in there, and then that part goes in there, and then this hammer this thing. Okay, interesting. And, and this was this information and thank you for watching that electric hammer disassemble assembly video and have a nice day to you.